So I want to just go over this topic and it's not for the the usual reasons that you may assume former chicago tax preparer is serving a 14-month sentence in federal prison for filing false tax returns erica early age 40 is best known as one of the drill rappers mother's children chief keith age 28 has nine children by five or six women in 2013 a judge ordered the rapper to pay erica 2500 a month and child support for their daughter. By 2014, he owed over 10,000, and that was according to the Chicago Tribune. They stated that he also failed to show up for child support hearing, and the judge issued an arrest warrant. Chief Keefe has fallen behind on child support to several of his mother's children. He had his first child, a daughter, at the age of 16. He was 17 when his hit song, I Don't Like Pete, at number 15 on the Billboard rap chart. Despite having all of the cash, the money, and the cars, Chief Keefe claims an income of just $9,000 a month with $9,000 in monthly expenses. Erica, who worked as a United States Postal Service employee, lived an extravagant lifestyle, but her salary as a government employee wasn't good enough. She began a side hustle as a ghost preparer, filing tax returns for her friends. According to court documents, Erica marked the return as self repair without identifying herself as a preparer she charged her friends a one thousand dollar fee in exchange for getting them large tax refunds erica deposited the fees and clients refunds into her personal bank account that was then closed by the bank after detecting fraudulent activity erica applied for prepaid debit cards in her client's name that she would use to deposit her clients refunds as well as her fees she pled guilty to filing false tax returns last June. In December, a federal judge sentenced Erica to 14 months in prison. Additionally, she is ordered to serve one year of supervised release and pay a max of $515,990 in restitution to the IRS. Yo, I feel like whenever I happen to point these things out, because again, I try to be an equal opportunist, I try to point out what everybody is doing because people want to just decide to harp on one specific thing and as i told people before the moment in time that you decide to fixate solely on one thing you allow other people and and other things to transpire so you're able to see the ages here at this current time chief keith is 28 years of age at this current time erica early is 40 years of age if we go back to 2014 you take 10 years directly off of that Chief Keith is 18, if not potentially, possibly 17, depending on when he had his birthday that year. This woman will be 30. I, I, am I the only one that sees a problem with this? Now, some people are going to sit up here and say like, yo, well, he he picked her. He he sat up there and chose her. Uh, he knew what it is that he was getting it. Let's, let's not, come on. Because we're not, y'all don't sit up there and do that when you got these young girls out here that's 18 y'all don't be trying to sit up there and say the same thing oh well she she sat up there and picked them off she she knew what she was getting y'all don't be saying that y'all don't be trying to make all these <laughs> excuses quote unquote blaming the victim y'all don't be doing that and it's like it's amazing that like i said before whenever those stories of men come up everybody got everything to say everybody i'm talking about both men and women everybody got something to say but the moment in time you showcase this, I notice I see a lot of men quiet. I notice I see a lot of women quiet. I'm like, why is that? I, I could have sworn that this was wrong. I could have sworn that uh, this looks, uh, you know, pretty weird, pretty odd. I could have sworn that the general consensus was that this is something that should not be happening. This is something that should be demonized. So again, you're you're dealing with a kid that just literally blew up. He's been rapping in Chicago. He basically. Chief Keith, for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to sit up and say it like it is. I didn't know anything about drill up until Chief Keith. He is literally, when people think about drill, they think about Chief Keith. I'm just going to be honest. No disrespect to any of the other uh, Chicago rappers that's been doing drill and all this other type of stuff. But when Chief Keith really blew up, it, it, it went all over the world. And, that, and that's just how it is. You, you can take it how you want to take it. I'm just sitting up there telling you from an outside perspective, looking at how everything blossomed, how everything bloomed, and how everything followed after that, how the sounds started changing, how people started trying to mimic that. You can even go over to the UK where they're sitting up there doing drill. 
they originally didn't have nothing dealing with drill. You can sit up there and go to Africa. They, you already know they had nothing dealing with drill music and they got drill over there. It's crazy. You can even go to Asian countries. But anyways, the main point that I'm trying to state again, I'm not even getting into all of the, the whole other things. This dude was young. So you expect somebody to be responsible and they're already living a reckless and an irresponsible life. I, I don't really expect a young dude to sit up there and straighten up instantly. But I do expect that a grown woman that is in her 30s should actually know better. I would expect that a woman that is grown in her 30s should be dealing with somebody who is also in her, in their 30s or at least somewhere in their 20s. This man was nowhere close at all. And like I said before, it's crazy to think that you have so many people out here with sons and people don't want to pay attention to the things that are going on out here. People don't want to look at this as like, yo, he got trapped because I'm just going to be honest. She knew what she was doing when she decided to have unprotected relations with him. She already knew, but she still sat up there and did it. Now you have to ponder and ask yourself, why would a woman of such an age caliber decide to do this? was somebody so young you already know ain't nothing technically going on you already know ain't no relationship or no marriage is really about to stem from this you're in your 30s this person is just getting out of high school you already know what it is but she decided to still lay down and do this because she knew that she was going to be able to get some type of money directly from him she knew he had some type of celebrity some type of popularity and she was like hey even though I have a very great job working for the United States, I'm a, I'm a postal employee. I got great benefits, health insurance. They take care of me, all of that. What did they tell you in the article? She had very extravagant lifestyle, very extravagant taste. That was something that she was already doing. She thought that she was more than what she was. And she wanted to sit up there and show it off. She wanted to sit up there and flaunt that. She wanted to do this. She wanted to do that. So how else can you sit up there and live a lifestyle that you can't even afford on the government salary? Number one, you sit up there and you start preparing taxes illegally. Like I said, nowhere in the article did it say that she was even trained or certified. She was doing this illegally. Number two, she lied directly on the tax forms and didn't even list, list herself as the preparer. Number three, she also sat up there early on, decided to get with a young rapper, do whatever sorcery or wizardry that she did, and oops, got pregnant. That's the recipe right there. That, that's the recipe right there, and that's crazy. Like I said, nobody wants to call this type of stuff out. And this stuff happens every single day to young dudes like this. Every single day, but nobody says a word. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. So we're going to sit up there and be, you know, have all of the energy for when it's the daughters out here, when it, when it's the young girls out here. We got all of this energy. It's like, yeah, protect them, protect them, protect them. Well, who's protecting these young boys out here, right? If, if, if the men are supposed to protect the young girls from the other men out here, who's protecting the young boys from the grown women out here? Who? Who? If the, if the men are supposed to be focused on one thing, who's supposed to sit up there and focus on them? You're not going to tell me that men are supposed to be focused on both of them. That don't make sense. Because a man can sit up there and put hands on another man if he if he basically catches and finds out that something is happening. It's like, oh, it's on sight. A man can't sit up there and do that in reverse. Because we're going to be, it's an uphill battle. No matter how right we are, we're still going to be wrong in everybody else's eyes. So again, it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's not even a double-edged sword when it deals with that situation. Like I said, this is why you got specific people to deal with specific situations. Men sit up there and deal with the situations that's dealing with men and women deal with these situations here. But the problem is you don't have women rolling up to the scene dealing with these situations. I showed y'all videos before. There are men literally locked up in jail and prison serving time because they decided to, you know, go out there and perform whatever uh, uh, actions that they decided to perform in order to showcase like, yo, this is just something that you don't do. This is something on my watch. I'm not going to sit up there and allow in this community. And so much so that I'm willing to put my life in jeopardy, put my freedom in jeopardy in order to establish that point. Like I said, you got the, the prisons and the jails filled up with men for a multitude of different reasons. And some of which are for this. It don't matter if it might have been a family member. It might have been a, a friend of the family. If it was a stranger, whatever it is. You got a dude locked up in jail and prison serving time right now for that. 
how many can we sit up there and say for women? How many women are willing to literally jeopardize their lives or their freedoms in order to protect these young boys out here from these women, uh, from this type of behavior? How many? Like I said, I've been waiting for a long time to sit up there and see, and I still ain't seen it yet. But like I said, overall, in general, it's just amazing that when I point out these stories, uh, you know, the things get muddled or, or people happen to miss the point and they're just on a whole different conversation versus what the focus should truly be, which is the protection here that obviously is lacking. And y'all wonder why it is that you got so many of these young guys or these young boys coming up, why they are treating or feel a certain type of way about women. It's because they had interactions like this. If these are the interactions that they're having, how do you expect them to see other women directly out there when their first interaction is going to dictate how it is that they're going to move in the future? But anyways, let me know what y'all think about this video and everything that I stated in the comment description below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned for the next video.